Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Cycle Lab Coffee Time Show. We are once again uh, live broadcasting from Cycle Lab in four ways. As always, it is a live show, so we want you to get involved in the comments section. Um, so we will um, uh, be looking at those comments, and uh, yeah, please, please get involved as much as you can. Um, we uh, have today live in our studio uh, France Nell from Ikambi Distributions. Um, you guys uh, bring in this amazing product, Wahoo. There's a um, whole bunch of products that, I mean, that uh, Wahoo do, which have played a massive role in the cycling industry within the last five to ten years. Some amazing news. Uh, uh, on Tuesday, we actually did a live reveal of the brand new Kicker 5. So, and this is it, yeah, on the table. So, um, we did run through a few of the the specs of the new kicker, but um, let's just chat a little bit about it. There were one or two things I did leave out. For example, that little um, kind of internet cable that you can plug yeah. your trainer into yeah, the back. Yeah. To uh, yeah, so I mean, if you can just take us through some of the main changes from the kicker four to the kicker five that people can expect. Sure, sure. Thanks, Miles. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Bronze. As uh, he introduced, thank, thanks. Thanks. Uh, it's such a privilege being on the show, and um, you know, it's such a great thing to to talk about the Wahoo brand. You know where. It, it came from and, and where it's going um, to, to see, you know, back in the days where it started off with a, just a normal dongle that you put in your iPhone to a Kicker 5 that we launched uh, now recently. So it's, it's uh, such exciting things um, with the brand and, um, you know, also representing Ikambi as, as a whole, different brands also uh, around that. But on the Wahoo side of things, um, looking at the, the Kicker 5 specifically, you know, it's, it's a they usually try and, and look at things way in the future. So not looking at what the trend is now at the moment, but looking at what is, is going to happen and what the trend will go towards. Um, and this is exactly that with the Kicker 5, where, you know, you uh, with the previous generation, they already made it silent. They already made it that it's kind of, there's no way to kind of change it. Um, where with the Kicker 5, they made it possible. And um, if you look at a few things um, of the Kicker 5, it would be, first would be uh, accuracy. So they're moving to more towards the online racing scene, you know, accuracy. Yeah. That, that's a big that's yeah. a big thing with indoor training, um, especially now with every, everything happening. Everyone wants trainers, everyone wants to train indoors. And, um, you know, with the Kicker 5, they look at accuracy. So you're looking at the 1%, Instead of two percent, uh, you're looking at you know auto calibration, which is a uh, finally something that you know it's it's really really a game changer in the so in the world. So range. just on that auto calibration, so normally people who who have a kicker will have to do something called that spin down. That's so does correct. so does that mean that spin down no longer needs to be done? Hundred percent. So okay. basically everything is software. So it's like up updating your phone, um, okay. that's all it's needed. So you go into the Wild Fitness app, you make sure that it's updated uh, so that all the all the glitches and everything is, is out of the system. And um, and that's maybe once uh, every, you know, every now and then, as soon as the update release. Uh, and that's basically on, on auto calibration. So it, it kind of calibrates itself then. You did mention the whole virtual racing thing that has kind of uh, spiraled out of control. There's, I mean, there's apps like Swift. We've, we've, we've seen the Twitter France, in fact, go their virtual route. Um, it's, it, it's actually quite ironic because as much as what indoor trainers you're riding by yourself all around the world, it actually has this ability with this whole kind of virtual world and uh, virtual riding mm -hmm. to be able to bring everyone together and I think that's that's actually quite special. 100% yeah look from a from a Tour de France perspective your competitive side towards your uh, your average rider your weekend warrior or someone that just wants to stay fit um, you know that is for everyone and that's where you know the the trainer is is kind of designed to be able to use for everyone out there um, you know it's, it's not specifically for your racer or not specifically even though you have you do get everything out of it. Um, Let's just go back a step. So you get smart trainers. This trainer here is a smart trainer. Um, it is your top end uh, kind of indoor cycling gold. It's golden standard trainer. Um, someone who doesn't have a smart trainer, uh, can you explain the difference and why someone should actually invest in something like this? So the, the whole reasoning behind smart training is indoor training itself is, is quite boring and hard. 
you know, it's, it's, it's so, it so is. hard. It's you, terrible. <laughs> it's slipping, you sweat, and you, you grind, and it's, it's, it's really hard. So, um, you know, that's where they changed the game with smart trainers where now it's more interactive, uh, more realistic, what you want, what you experience outdoors, you actually, you know, do in, in your own living room, which is so convenient uh, and it's safe. You know, in, SA, uh, in, in our country specifically, it's, it's uh, safety is a big factor. Um, 100%, that. yeah. And, um, you know, spending an hour on hour, hour and a half, depending on your, your fitness level, but um, it's, it's all about that realisticness and uh, just comfort, uh, convenience. How I sometimes explain it to people is that it's almost taking your cycling and, and, and making it like a game. So, like, oh, I mean, yeah. you think about it, you, you jump on your bike, you're playing a PlayStation game, or whatever, oh, yeah. and I mean, you have For the sure. controller, you jump on, you, sure. you're smashing those watts and it's showing on your screen and it, it, that, then your kind of avatar and so on, um, it, it, it can kind of go oh, forward. Yeah. So that's the kind of gamification version of, of Zwift, but I mean, Wahoo, have a, an, an app as well, which the um, trainer connects to, and that's kind of for your um, yeah. solid training, training, training sessions. Yeah, so there is quite a lot of apps that you can use. Uh, Zwift, one of the, the most preferred ones out there. You have uh, Ruby, Ruby. All, all bunch of apps that you can use. It's a, based on personal preference at the end of the day. Um, Zwift is just a very, it's much more social. So you have, uh, you know, we have these, uh, I spoke to a customer the other day where you know she has a friend in, in Spain and she you know they, they meet each other uh, at a certain time certain place on Zwift and then they ride together um, and that's their, their social social time um, and it's that's in itself is fantastic you know in the small trainer world that's where everything is going towards um, but on Wahoo's side you know it's it's exciting to see where Wahoo is taking the brand and not just looking at the trainer itself, but also expanding into an ecosystem. 100%, so yeah. It's, it's not anymore, or it's not about just the trainer anymore. It's more about, you know, you, you have something like the climb, you have the headwind. Um, and that's kind of revolutionizing um, the, the indoor training experience, um, <laughs> making it more realistic, you know, more convenient to train indoors. Um, so before we go, um um, onto the whole uh, ecosystem. Sure. Let's just um, quickly summarize what people can expect different from the Kicker 4 to the Kicker 5. So we've run through it. It's so obviously these feet. Um, it's the 1% accuracy. There's an internet connection into the back, um, which is uh, next to the kind of power if, a power source. If we turn this around, um, just look at this. So it actually connects in there. There's a little internet uh, somewhere. Uh, just on top there. Oh, just on top. There we go. So, what would that help with? That would just help with um, connection dropping and so on. Is it? That's correct. So you know, with so many signals in, in your home, you know, looking at AT Plus and Bluetooth, it's it's something that uh, is quite frustrating when you uh, in that final sprint and you get a drop. Um, you know, that's uh, you you also you know you can talk with me there. It's it's a, such a frustrating. Thing well, experience. sometimes it's a blessing in disguise when you're suffering and well, it's an excuse. <laughs> hey, my internet dropped. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't have to complete the race. <laughs> well, now, yeah. now there's no excuse. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's something that, that creates that, that accuracy and, and kind of betters that side of, of the trainer where now you can connect to uh, Zwift without any fear of dropouts. Um, it's a zero ping kind of in, a, in the gaming world, zero ping. Um, where there's no drop at all, um, where AT Plus and Bluetooth uh, is something that, that might still, you know, you do get your AT dongle, which helps in the drops, but uh, with this, you know, kind of landing your trainer with the computer and the system um, makes it just, uh, you know, un unbeatable. Un you know, you can't, you can't be more accurate than that. Brilliant. In the box, it does come with uh, changeable feet, so there the, the, are different types of. Uh, Rocking type of, uh, what do you so, call it, like you know, spong sponginess, if, if, if that's even a word. 100%, yeah. So that's, that's one of the things that's, that's very interesting. You know, the world sees rocket plate. They see legs that, that move sideways. But what who sees is, is, is legs that what you want to, you know, again, that accuracy, that realisticness. And when you sway or when you ride outdoors, let me state it like that, when you, when you ride outdoors, there's some sort of movement in your bike. There's no way where you're just in a stiff position the whole time. Um, so every time you pedal, it's yeah. that swing left and right. 
And that's what they want to create with the mm. legs. It's creating that swaying motion, um, as well as actually, you know, um, making sure that you don't fatigue us as much. Um, so it, it helps in going for longer, longer rides on the trainer. Because when you're in a static position the whole time, um, you fatigue a lot because your your muscles, you know, work overtime to kind of compensate. Yeah. But when you when you ride outdoors, it's a different feeling, and we all know that you're working different muscles and 100%. when you're going exactly. uphill, downhill, you know, you're working your quads more as opposed to your your hamstrings, and exactly. yeah. So I mean, it's a whole bunch and of that's, things. And that's where the legs come in. That's where you know this is something that that changes the the way you ride on the trainer, how it feels, um, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's giving that motion. Uh, uh, kind of fighting against that fatigue that you build up mm. when you do indoor training rides. So instead of doing, let's say, 30 minutes, an hour ride, now you can do an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, e easier. Um, Brilliant. It won't be as, as hard to... One thing I must add on to that auto calibration, I did actually read up mm. on it um, during the week. And what it does is it actually stops people in a, like, and I wouldn't say in a sense cheating, but it, it, it actually makes the trainer more, more, kind of fair in a way so like if you yeah. auto or or do a spin down and the spin down is wrong um it will automatically correct that spin down while you're busy cycling yeah. which is so quite a quite with, an amazing feature uh, it's it's you know with the spin down part obviously with that being away but it's uh, yeah uh it's it's similar to that uh where you you want it's like gaming is, is a perfect example you know if you, if you talk to gamers they they'll say you know when you plug it in ex with the cable that's the most accurate uh, okay. way to, to physically play the game because there's no lag, no anything. Yeah. And that's kind of where, where Zwift is going. You know, it's, it's techni technically a, a game that you're playing on the bike and uh, the, the plus side, you get some fitness out of it. Yeah, um, but, of uh, you know, plugging it in is, is one of the things that, that make it accurate. But um, another thing to mention on that would be that it's not just about, you know, looking at an internet port, plugging it in, um, but it's it's something more, you know. Who looks at going forward, you know, where things are going, um, and I think that opens up a, a whole bunch of things. Where if you, as soon as you look at, um, you know, maybe a, a, a wired antenna, or if you look at virtual reality, or if you look at, you know, there's so many things that you can look at where it opens up possibilities, and that's mm. what we as well who see when we see that port. It's not sure. just the internet connection. It's a whole world of new possibilities. Amazing, amazing. So the trainer is the one aspect. So we, we have touched on the Wahoo ecosystem. There's a kicker climb, there's a headwind. Um, you guys have brought all that into one, making, making actually the kicker bark. So, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's a whole other aspect. So the training type of um, sort of aspect is the one thing you guys do. You guys go into heart rate monitors. You guys do uh, cycling computers as well. Let's yeah. maybe just touch on that for a moment. Sure. So... A part of that ecosystem is, is what you experience, not just indoors, um, as, as Miles mentioned, but also outdoors. And one of the things that you that you use for both, would firstly, would be the, the ticker heart rate monitor. Um, so this is the, the latest ticker two. Um, and what this is kind of different compared to the previous version is uh, with Bluetooth connectivity. So, you know, connecting to multiple devices um, is kind of the, wow. the, the most important thing that you want to do and, and uh, the most often you ask questions yeah. around your heart rate monitor. Uh, so, you so for those people who don't know, when you buy your indoor trainer, your standard heart rate monitor might not work because the signal that sends out is normally only ANT plus. So what these Wahoo heart rate monitors do, they actually send out uh, Bluetooth and ANT plus. So you can connect your heart rate monitor to your computer, which then allows your heart rate to be displayed on all third-party apps as yeah. well as on the Wahoo app. So that's just kind of a summary of why you'd want to buy a Bluetooth yeah. heart rate monitor. No, perfect, exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, so it's, it's a, um, you know, Wahoo is, is one of the only, actually, in the world, heart rate valves or devices, all of the devices on in Wahoo actually uses both the signals. So, you know, that kind of assures you, puts you at ease of mind to, you know, you can, you can use the Wahoo ecosystem and it works so well together. Um, a good example is, uh, if I may, it's, it's like Apple. You know, when Apple uh, Apple works with Apple and it just it just works. It just once, works. Once yeah. you you know yeah. once you use uh, all kinds of other things, it just it's okay. You can do it, but it's not ideal. Sure. Um, and it's the same situation with Wahoo. You know, you want to you want to connect everything and, and it has to work seamlessly. 
Um, and that's what happens when you use the, the ticker um, and all the other devices such as the, the row, the, the bolts. So these are just demo units, but obviously showcasing exactly how they look like. Um, you have your, your bolt and your, uh, well, focused on, you know, it's, it's a little bit smaller. It's the, the most common one out there. And um, you know, from GPS to uh, anything you can think of, I think the only thing it won't do is make you coffee in the morning. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, the, the main differences would be that, that kind of differs from any other th uh, something else or anything else out, out there would be, firstly, it's aerodynamics. Uh, it's, <laughs> Brilliant. It's, uh, Aero is uh, everything sometimes. Eh? Gains, eh? <laughs> yeah. If, if you, if you talk to uh, guys like Team Ineos, they, yeah. that's, that's their approach. You know, from uh, from sleeping on different mattresses and whatever, but they that's marginal. So they're cycling computers cutting through the wind as well. That's the wind. In, interesting. That's fact. the wind in the Tour de France. Eh? Exactly. <laughs> interesting fact. If you do a, a, a what's it a forty k route and you average about thirty k's an hour, you can save up to up to uh, five seconds on, on your time. Are you serious? Um, just on the computer. Just, just, just on, on the aerodynamics. So it's it's a you know it does help. It's not just a, 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 a goofy a gimmick. A, you know, yeah, a gimmick. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so it does help you in, in that aspect. But uh, so aerodynamics and then LEDs that helps with you know seeing your heart rate. You don't always want to look at uh, you know data the whole time when you when you ride because it's it's unsafe. And it's sure. You know, it's, yeah. It's, it's if you in the uh, in the red or black or whatever zone you are in, um, it's it's always nice to just uh, glance down and, and look at the LEDs and see you know what heart rate zone you're in. So you can set it up to to power and and you know speed as well and there's a few features that you can kind of play around with um but uh the other thing on the leds would be turn by turn which is okay. a, a fantastic feature outdoors and okay. not just indoors where you know you can upload a ride and it shows you where to go so um it's kind of like a um that that uh a google lady in your on, on your bike computer telling you go left go, go right left, yeah go right it just amazing it just don't talk talks back but it, uh, it shows you and you can also do a route out on the road and you can actually bring That's it to it. your trainer and, and and the trainer kind of adjusts and then you to, can simulate it you yeah. can simulate it brilliant exactly. we yeah. do have some questions sure. from from our uh, um followers so they put in the questions on instagram so okay. let's just uh, run through them one by one um the first one is can someone use a carbon road disc brake bike with the Wahoo Kicker 5 without voiding the bike warranty? So that's something that, you know, a person from personal use on the, on the trainer, compatibility, yes, it'll be compatible and it won't damage your bike. Um, so, you know, the, the compatibility wise, it's if you have a quick release, so 130, 130 135 uh, through axle or boost. Uh, those three options, your, that means your bike will be compatible to the trainer and it won't damage it at all. But by using a carbon bike on, on the trainer, you know, that, that comes to rider or kind of user error if it does scratch or if it does, because if you, it's like putting a, a wheel on incorrectly. Sure, um, yeah. That's exactly kind of the basic. And it also comes down to the manufacturer of the bike, I suppose. And 100%, yes. Yeah. So that also depends on, so if, you know, the material and, and um, it, it's it's there's so many variants that you can think of, but trainer side, yes, it is compatible and won't damage your bike at all. Um, it's just obviously with the carbon bike, you, you have to be more careful. More careful. Than, than the, so for your three axle, it, it actually comes with these three axle adapters. It's got a little number on there, 142 or 148. So that's boost or non-boost. I'll put them here on the table, which uh, you can have a look at. And what happens is you just take the skew out, you put the adapters on, and your and your through axled bike, whether it now be a road bike or a mountain mm -hmm. bike, can easily fit on the trainer. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that, that, that's been going for a couple of generations yeah. as well. So that's the standard thing. And it's, it's great to, to see that, you know, they look at, because the, there's so many questions coming in about uh, different, you know, new axles, new, um, but they look at the, the, the range of, you know, what's the most common. Oh, used, yeah, okay. And, and these three are the most commonly used uh, sizes for, for bikes. Next question, can, can, can someone get the Kicker 4 now for cheaper? So let's just touch on the aspect of price, of the <laughs> so, pricing. So at the moment, there's, there's actually no stock. Um, so you the, can't even get the Kicker, so no, I'm not going to second hand market. Even get the at the moment. No, <laughs> so there's so only, uh, only the Kicker 5 available and yeah. some good news on the price. 
Um, but that's the same 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 price as the yeah, Kicker Four. Exactly. There's no increase at all. It's exactly the same price. So you know, if you budgeted for a, a Kicker Four but thought maybe end of the month kind of kind of situation, then you know it's the same same price, and you get more out of it. You know, with with uh, all the new features and latest technology, uh, you get more out of, out of buying the Kicker Five. Um, does the Kicker run fairly quietly? Um, I must say, I, I wrote it on Tuesday and it's completely silent. All I could hear was uh, my chain and cassette when I was changing gears. Yeah. So, I mean, in, 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 in terms of sound and, and the way it sounds, completely silent. You can ride uh, next door to someone trying to still um, lie in bed and sleep and, yeah. and they probably wouldn't even hear it. So, yeah. in terms of uh, sound, it, it is completely silent. Um, Just want to touch on that uh, the legs actually helps a lot on vibration as well okay so if you don't have a floor mat and you put it on, on kind of just a normal floor um, then uh, the, 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 the legs actually the actual absorb, feet uh, the feet uh, actually absorb a lot of the vibration as well um, which helps which is a good new which feature is, yeah which is a good new feature when are you guys going to be bringing out a smartwatch so I can neither confirm nor deny uh, <laughs> that one but you know Looking at the industry again, looking at going forward, the future, you know, it's definitely something that, that what we will be looking at. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's, there's some exciting new products coming out this year still. So, you know, keep in, t uh, you know, keep, keep in touch with uh, um, on Cyclabs pages and Waru pages. Uh, and, and yeah, so you'll, you'll see, you'll see the, the latest on there. XX Cycling asking, um, he needs to get a Wahoo trainer um, and he actually needs one this week Sunday for his, for his birthday. So the trainers are available on the website awesome. or yeah. in store. So um, go wild and uh, get your, your orders in. Yeah. I just want to touch quickly um, and uh, touch base on, on the aftermarket service from you guys and Akumbi um, in, in particular. I must say, me just being a normal person, um, I've gone and I've gone onto your website, I've had a problem with my train, I've had a problem with my heart rate monitor, as any customer would. And you guys, your service has been absolutely unbelievable. I, I, I got a trainer delivered to my house and they picked up the old one. Um, and I went through a shop with my heart rate belt and it was actually um, replaced straight away. So thank you for the good service. Um, but, but what can a customer expect in terms of your aftermarket service when it comes to yeah. buying a trainer Look, locally? That's, that's, you know, a very good question because when you're buying a you know, 25,000 rand trainer, it's, it's an investment and you want that, that after sales support um, when you invest in something like this. And, uh, um, you know, I think we can we can easily say that that in uh, support, we, we're one of the best in the country, uh, if not the best in, in support. And, um, you know, what we do is, you know, there's a ticket that you that you log with us. Uh, it falls in, a, in, in line um, and um, we have a, a, a support a support system support guys where they contact you they find out what's going on with your trainer exactly just uh, running through you know is your trainer updated obviously with spin down not being in the in the mix anymore but uh, if you have a core or snap maybe then have you have you spun it down have you updated it have you and that's usually 90 percent of the issues believe it or not but if it's something else um then we take it from there and you have a one-year warranty with your trainer so We'll just uh, you know we we make sure that you that you updated with the with the latest news what's going on with your trainer and as soon as we kind of got the um, uh, confirmation that we can send or take your trainer in as warranty uh, we'll arrange collection and drop the new trainer off. Yeah, brilliant. The, um, just a quick rundown: the Kicker Five is a top of the range trainer. Then you get like you mentioned the Kicker Core and then the Kicker Snap. Is, okay, yes. perfect. Um, so yeah. the core and the snap is the snap would be for you know if if you train let's say uh, twice a week three times a week um, you Perfect. know that's an ideal trainer uh, where the core is something that it still offers some of the the key features of the kicker um, uh, you know function functionality wise cadence built into it uh, cassette through axle you know it's a wheel off trainer so that makes it a whole lot more accurate. Um, flywheel technology built into it so it's it's a uh, just a more affordable option than, than Brilliant. the kicker we can speak for days on indoor training yeah. and cycling um we, but we are running out of time uh, rob kennedy did ask is there stock and what's the price so we did touch on that so rob there is stock availability and it is the same price as the kicker four which is a uh, 24,999 rand you can buy it online or come in store and and buy it so uh france thank you so much for oh. 
for coming in. It's, it, it's been amazing. You have touched on some very important points. Um, and I think everyone out there to, to the viewers watching, uh, hopefully they've, they've learned something yeah. about indoor if smart cycling. If you have any cycling. questions, you know, please, please ask. Yeah. And, uh, you leave it in the comment section or you can get in touch directly with us on our Facebook page. Or even, I mean, with you guys, you guys have a yeah. good social media um, kind of posting. And, uh, yeah, you can go to our fitness, um, our fitness page or you can go to our mobile. The best would be Gumby's, Gumby's Facebook page. Uh, be, be the best touch. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, Cycle Lab will be running a competition um, on the Instagram page when we reach 10,000 followers. There is going to be a prize. We're not going to mention it just yet. So um, like us on Instagram and Facebook and you can be in the running for a, a very, very awesome prize. So thank you. We'll see you guys uh, same time, same place next week, Friday. Thanks awesome. for tuning in. Thanks so much.